What's going on guys? So, as promised, we're going to do a quick tour of this tool tote. This is for my side automotive work that I do. Uh, just for small stuff like brakes, suspension, um, nothing major, um, tune-ups, stuff like that. So, I'm going to be going right into it. Now, just before I start, so for the longest time, I used this Craftsman tool bag. I've seen his better days. Um, what I carry in this now, and obviously, you know, I got the little makeshift strap because there's not even a spot to put a strap on this thing, which is um, why I didn't like it that very much. But it came with tools I bought, so that's why I have it. All right, I keep a small jack in here, and this is just for smaller cars, and then a foam kneeling pad. So there's that. And so we'll start on the side. Keep a can of PV blaster. Some seal glide, brake lubricant, dielectric grease, small can of WD-40, and they just go in there like that. Okay, and we'll move along. So if you have any questions about anything, just leave them below. Now this is the wrench ring. You can get these on eBay. They have different colors. I got red, obviously. So I keep just common size wrenches on here. So we got 10, 12, 14, 17, 18, and 19. So there's that. I like that because you can hang it wherever. Great caliper hanger. So that fit on this pocket. Battery terminal cleaner. Stubby screwdriver. And you got all the kinds of different bits. Just like that. So you can get in tighter spaces. And it is ratcheting, of course. Then I keep uh, some adapters, reducer, step up. Magnetic net driver set. This is just from a cheap one from Harbor Freight. Had this for years. I think some of the magnets have fell out of some. There's one right there. And then a number two Phillips impact bit. And then a spare spark plug gapper. Which nowadays I don't normally use. Sometimes on older vehicles. Depending on what kind of spark plug I get. Um, but I try to on these newer vehicles, modern vehicles, I mean, um, I try to get, most of them are already, you know, pre-gapped or whatever. In this bucket, set of gloves, that's it on that one, and then locking pliers, Milwaukee. Just some snap ring pliers. These are just some cheapies. Craftsman mirror. Milwaukee oil filter wrench. Now you'll notice the theme here. Um, I went with Milwaukee on a lot of these hand tools. The one, I found some really good deals on them, especially right now in Home Depot. And then two, red it's less easy you know less likely to lose or whatever for me i want i like the red black theme that's how my box is so i kept the same way here um, with the pattern so that's why you'll see most of the stuff is red but i also went with milwaukee on a majority of the stuff because i found deals on it okay so that answers that question so pocket screwdriver pocket pry bar a little boo-boo kit just in case you don't want to bleed all over it Christmas card that you're working on. Um, third locker. This is the blue with the gel version. First time using it. But it's small, compact, and then it fits into it. Alright. We'll go into this side and then we'll flip it around. Give it extra tail. All right. So wheel chocks. Made by Big Red. 
And these are just small compact. See, they lock in right there. So that's it on this topic. It's over. There's some trim tools, picks. These are performance tool. These are just some generic ones. Little brush. Electrical tape. Oh, let me get something in there. A little Desco tapered punch. Headlamp. Milwaukee uh, lug nut sockets, 17, 19, and 21. These have been pretty good. Used them uh, last weekend on a job. So that's it on that pocket. Keep thin wrenches for caliper pins to hold them while I'm putting the caliper bolt in. Uh, look at, uh, spark plug socket, I'm sorry. Impact driver. It. Cheap scan tool. You can get these. These are made by launch. Um, under 20 bucks all day long. I think they're on Black Friday, Cyber Monday deal right now for like 16 bucks. So don't quote me on that. Might be wrong. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Double tails. Always. So. I can generally find these at Ross for $2.99. Um, I had a buddy tell me that you can get some of the bigger ones at AutoZone for $9.99 or whatever. So I'm going to get them, refill them in there. That way it's just easy to carry around, clean my hands up afterwards, and I don't get the person's car dirty, which is really important. If it's my own, no problems. Okay. All right. Just pick this up. Uh, this is the Milwaukee what, radiator hose pick. So, uh, I don't think there's a part number on there. I'll, if y'all want to know, I'll post it below. Inside here, small little tape measure. Then, obviously, I uh, get my NCs, brake grease. Uh, plastic brush, keep a spare M12 battery, 4.0, actually that one belongs to this one, <laughs> so keep that there. a PE tools, I think this is a 16, yep, 16 ounce ball peen hammer, this one's been great, really happy with it. I also just picked this up. This is the Milwaukee bimetal little mini saw. It's pretty nice. So I have one like this from Linux, but I keep that in my junkyard bag. Um, this one goes for about 14 bucks. Pry bar from Milwaukee. And then been carrying the Icon 3.8 flex head ratchet. It's been pretty good. I like it. Pair of bikes. Some cheapo old snap on uh, snippers. String action. You can lock them, cut whatever. So. Ten groove pliers, another multi screwdriver, the longer version, extra flashlight, uh, needle nose, Milwaukee, another Milwaukee pen light, uh, wire stripper, multi tool, Milwaukee over here. I like how the handle you can move around like that. It's 
some dual flip joints. This one, I just posted a video on. This is the Hyper Tough Light. I don't want to spend money and get another um, stream light. So I got this one, which is cool because you can use flashlight mode. That one, high setting, and then an inspection setting. And the fact that it's also rechargeable just like the other one. And this thing's only 15 bucks. And it folds up and it's light. Lightweight is the key here right now. Quarter inch drive icon. Um, compact. You know what that is. Utility knife. I like this adjustable wrench. It's really nice. It's got finer threads than normal and it doesn't loosen up on you. Magnet, magnet pickup tool. Inks all. Lines of pliers. Collapsible funnel. Uh, zip ties, collapsible tray, keep all my sockets in there. All oh, they're all impact rated uh, from Milwaukee because it's got the sizing and the red marking on there. And then a half inch breaker bar with a homemade tutor, tutor pipe, just in case. So, all right. So there's that. We'll get everything back into place. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and that's my setup for it to go.